two different journeys brought Kelvin Mazangwe and Dominique Baggi from Africa to Boston. But their time together on the Boston U men's soccer team has revealed a common trait in leadership. The light that these two African-born players carry on opposite ends of the field continues to lift their teammates to a higher level of play. My name is Kelvin Matongwe. I am a senior. I'm from Zimbabwe. Known for being a crucial voice on the defensive side of the game, Matongwe is a natural communicator with the mind for reading his opponents. It complements his talent for reading people as a public relations major. My name is Dominique Baji. I go to school at Boston University. I'm from Dakar, Senegal. Heading up the Terriers' offensive strike, Dominique Baji is a force to be reckoned with on the field, but he speaks a softer tone outside of competition as an international relations major. Moving around so much when I was a child this has really made me an open person. I'm open to different people, different ideas. I'm a warm person too. I know people's situation. I know what it's like to come into a situation and not know anybody. I know what it's like to be new to a place and kind of be afraid to talk to people. So I'm the one that'll go out there, step out and go talk to somebody when I see them that they're not really comfortable in an environment because I've been there. Badongwe arrived at Boston U in 2010 and was named the America East Rookie of the Year as a freshman, then became the America East Defender of the Year as a sophomore. That season, Badji arrived in Boston to provide a spark for the Terriers offense. He followed in Madongwe's early footsteps and was named the 2011 America East Rookie of the Year. Medical hardship took Madongwe out of the season in 2012, thus setting up both student athletes to play their final year together in 2014. Kevin was actually a big reason why I came here. I actually stayed with him on my official visit and we can relate. A lot of things he's been through, I've been through. I know what he's talking about. Although we lived in different areas in Zimbabwe, we still experience the same things. So he's a very relatable guy and he's one of my best friends on the team. When he came in, because at first I was the only one when I got here my freshman year. So when he came in, that was like a good thing for me because it was some, someone I could relate to. Almost have like the same struggles together. So a language barrier and like changing environment. So we're trying to help each other out. Even on the soccer field, I always believe when two people are tackling a challenge, it makes it better than when you're by yourself. Madongwe and Badgie have evolved from enjoying the humble beginnings of street soccer to three thriving within the structure of Division I athletics, and suiting up as Terriers together helped shape their new lives in the United States. Being on a team helps you be a leader, be a better communicator, and then your confidence wise, because you have people around you that are, are always there to support you. So no matter if things are going bad, if things are going good, they're always going to be there with you. So it's like almost like a journey where we're going together. Soccer does help us a lot in that regard where it's bringing different people together and I think our team's a great example of that. It really brings everybody, different types of people, different characters, different personalities together on one field and the personalities that usually clash off the field but it's crazy how when it's everything's on the field that everything just comes together. While soccer is a sport that has long been a fun and inspirational getaway for both Medzangwe and Badgie, it eventually offered them a gateway to a superb education in a culturally rich, intellectually reputable American city. For the Page League Network, I'm Melanie Pulowski.